before we go, I want to get into the topic of the Resident Evil show that, that dropped this week. Now, I don't know about you. I have seen a fair amount of the live action Resident Evil movies that are not really affiliated with Capcom other than licensing, probably. Paul W.S. Mm-hmm. Anderson. I think we talked about it before. I really only like the first one. The rest of them can go in a dumpster fire. And even the first yeah. one, I'm just like, eh. <laughs> you know, I'm like, eh, it's yeah. on. I've seen all of them except for the last one. Fair enough. And as far as the CG movies, I think I've seen and I own Degeneration, and that's it. I, I, I know that there are others. That yeah, Degeneration's pretty cool. I know there are others. I just never got my hands on them. But this follows in those footsteps because it's CG. And again, once again, I should say, Leon's the main character. What's interesting <laughs> about Infinite Darkness is it takes place in 2006, just after Resident Evil 4, and like at the very beginning of Resident Evil 5, like literally yeah. while we're watching this show, Chris Redfield and Jill are at the Spencer Mansion fighting Wesker. Like that whole flashback thing in Resident Evil 5, if you remember that. Uh-huh. Like that's what's going mm-hmm. on concurrent to this series. So four episodes, they're about 26 to 28 minutes long. You're looking at just under two hours. Could have just been a movie. Could have just been a movie. I don't know why it wasn't. You're right. That's really weird that it wasn't a movie. Why the fuck wasn't it in the movie? Anyways, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. What did you think about Resident Evil Infinite Darkness? Okay, so. Without any spoilers, because we're not doing yeah, any no, spoilers no. just yet. Yeah, a little backstory. I have seen every single CG Resident Evil movie except for Vendetta, which I believe was the latest one. Okay. And I have thoroughly enjoyed each and every one. Oh, nice. All Every single one felt like it was the kind of pinnacle of CG animation for a video game property anyway. It's for its and, time, man. Yeah. yeah, and <laughs> like they were just all so good. This show is not good. <laughs> nah. No, it's not. it is not good. I like to try and find something good about shows that I want to enjoy, but there's nothing good about this besides like a few scenes here and there. But the story mm-hmm. is just what story? The characters are unintelligent. <laughs> True. There are some. There are we'll some get into that in spoilers. Like, I mean, do you not know that zombies exist? <laughs> yeah, exa- Oh my god. But... <sighs> I'm like, is this a Resident Evil movie, or is this, or is this Resident Evil? I guess I can't say zero because that's a game that exists. Like, is this Resident is this... Evil 1995 or is this 2006? Right. Come on, guys. We know what's yeah, up. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh my god. It's not good. The character animation, sometimes they move extremely weird. It's very inconsistent, right? Sometimes yeah, like the animation the, looks yeah. good, and then other times they're like, did they mocap? Or is this like... Yeah. Like when the soldiers... Star Killer walking around yeah. in, in Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Remember that? Oh my god. Yeah. The walk animation when the soldiers bad. are like scuttling around, like their legs are moving entirely too fast. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's unsettling. I'm like, how is he not tired from his legs moving that fast? Yeah, there's a main character. I think her name is Shi Yoon or something like that. Shin... Shin, Shin Yoon? Shin... Shin something. Shin Mei. Yeah, it's a, it's a Chinese lady who's in the American military, but... I guess, uh, but that's not thing I found. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that later. Um, anyways, she when when she's walking, I'm like, well, what is this walk? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Anyways, but yeah, it's very inconsistent with the animation and the voice acting. The voice acting of the main characters, yeah. they use the voice actors from the remakes. So Resident Evil 2 remake, the person that voiced Leon and the person that voiced Claire even though they look different in the remake, those voices are the ones we hear in the show. Yikes. And for her part, the voice actor for Claire, you could tell she was altering her voice to sound more like classic Claire. Cause that's what her face looked like. Mm-hmm. But the voice actor for Leon just sounded like baby Leon from the remake, even though he had man Leon's face. And that was a little off, but I got over it once Leon started quipping. When he was right. like, wish I had some more cheese. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I, I heard that and I was like, oh my God, this is fucking corny as shit. I loved it. But though, then again, that's what I like again, about Leon. W- w- yeah. What is Resident Evil really? Yeah. So, yeah. Mostly. Give me, give me the corny. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, overall, I like you, I feel like the plot was underbaked. Just like they had an idea there, but they didn't have time to fully explore it. So they just wrapped it up in the cheapest, most unfulfilling way possible. Yeah. How can we link this to 
future games that actually happen. Oh, okay, yeah. that we'll just we'll say assemble. That, Ooh, that, yeah. 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 